welcome courtside inside the Marriott Center on the BYU campus in Provo, Utah. Tonight, we tip off a new era of BYU basketball. And he hammers it home! Yes. How about that? A ninth three-pointer for Trevendell. Hard-earned and well-won victory. We are live in Studio B. Happy Friday, everyone. Alongside Jason Shepard, I'm Spencer Linton. It's the Tortured Poets Day on BYUSN, but enough with that. We're celebrating great things like a new basketball coach at BYU and Kevin Young and doing so with a guy who last night posted on his social media accounts, he's all in. Trevin Nell, the shot doctor, is with us in the Cougar Council Room. <laughs> Welcome, Trevin. I appreciate you guys having me. I'm pumped. The new room is amazing. It's pumped to be here. Speaking of all in, are you, I mean, it's, it's the rage right now. Are you all in on the new Taylor Swift albums? <laughs> The funny thing was, it's like 11.45, my wife goes, Taylor Swift just dropped an album. So she's going through, I'm like, hey, I got to go to bed, like, <laughs> put your phone away. She goes, I think she dropped two albums. And I'm like, okay, like, what's cool about that? She goes, don't talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> so she's very excited about it. <laughs> uh, clearly. Well, I hope you got some rest. Uh, yeah, it was e fun. Eventually, yeah. after uh, the two albums that are being consumed by <laughs> millions of people. Uh, I mentioned the All In post yesterday. Why did you feel like you needed to lead out and do something like that in support of Coach Young? Yeah, I mean, there's so many speculation. There's so many things. Like, you know, so many people are talking to us. Um, and I just felt like, uh, you know, to be a leader on this team and just show the guys, like, no matter what, you know, I'm loyal to this blue and I'm loyal to this Cougar Nation and loyal to Coach Young. Um, I felt like the way he portrayed himself and kind of like his image and his his way of thinking is really going to help us this next year. So just kind of wanted to show everybody on the team, like, hey, we got somebody that's super special, and we got to get this core you know, team back together so we can make something special happen next year. You guys have been on, uh, on a roller coaster ride over the last week or so. W what has that ride been like being a part of? Yeah, it's actually insane. I didn't, like, when you think about, like, Utah State's coach left, and, you, like, us players were like, oh, like, that's, that's cool. But then you don't really feel like you're like don't really think about the players, even the coaches. But when you have to go through it personally, it's like you're up here, you're down here, and like you're talking to different players on a team. Tortured poets, it is, Trevin. It is awful. Um, and so like I'm really happy for Coach Pope. Uh, he deserves it. He's a he's an amazing dude. Um, and I'll you know I'll always say I'll run through a brick wall for him. But I'm really excited for you know Coach Young to bring you know his his you know coaching staff here, his you know level of expertise from the NBA and let's make something special happen. Yeah, well, I'm interested to get your take because you, you mentioned just the super high and low emotions. You're very close with Coach Pope and his family, you and mm -hmm. your wife. So to have something like that happen, like it's really hard to prepare for something like that. So how did you process through all of that to get to where you are now? Yeah, I mean, I took a couple of days. I was like, I don't even want to touch a basketball for a second. Like I got to just kind of let my mind, you know, be at ease. Um, talked to some of the guys, and a lot of guys were like, well, I'm just going to jump in the portal. Um, and for me, I was like, okay, I really want to be at BYU. This is my last year, right? Um, and so I was talking to, you know, other coaches, and, you know, it was something that me and my wife kind of sat down. We're like, hey, like, we want to be here. And when Coach Young got the call, I was like, okay, like, this could be something exciting. It could be something special. And then the, just the way he, like, talked to us in our in our players' meeting before his, his press conference was really, really cool. And he talked about, you know, his relationship with Devin Booker, Chris Paul, and those guys. And I was like, you know, if you have those guys that are like, you know, top 75 players, Hall of Fame players, and he has a relationship with them that's really special, I, I can't wait to have a relationship. And then Devin guys. Booker says, I wish he could have coached me in college. <laughs> KYU, KYU, baby. That's right. What do, honestly, let's, let's touch on that a little bit. What does that mean to you guys as players? When you know that a guy's coming in with that type of resume and track record, and not just all that, but with those relationships. Yeah, I mean, even I'll like speak for a lot of the guys too. Like a lot of guys were a little nervous about what is Coach Young's scheme because our offense was really dynamic, really powerful last year, and we were like kind of nervous about okay, what can we do? Like, what is he going to do now uh, in terms of our offense? And so the way he kind of just talked about uh, you know being all in and. Um, the way he kind of coaches the Suns, he's like, hey, I want you guys to watch this series and just watch how I coach these guys. Um, and so I think that's super, something that's kind of super unique. Like, I don't feel like anybody in, in the country gets to, you know, be able to sit back in a, <laughs> at home watching their coach coach a, you know, NBA game in the playoffs. Um, so that's super cool. And 
Um, for a lot of guys, I think it was really special when he said Devin Booker and Chris Paul will probably be in the gym this Amazing. summer working with us. And I was like, all right, I'm sold. <laughs> Trevin Nell is with us on BYU Sports Nation. We're discussing the new BYU basketball head coach, Kevin Young. And I've heard from a few of your teammates and some people around the program that you, and with your post, you validated this, and Noah Waterman have kind of been these rallying voices in the locker room. Mm -hmm. What has that been like when there has been so much uncertainty? And, and why did you feel like you and Noah kind of needed to band together to do that? Yeah, so I've gotten like really good relationship with a lot of these guys. Uh, Ali actually called me right before he committed to Louisville and just said, hey, I just want to let you know like this is what's going on. Kind of talk. He kind of like talked me through it, so I thought that was really cool. Um, but me and Noah have a really special relationship. We're roommates on the road, so we got really, really close over this past season. But it's something super cool. The guy that comes from, you know, New York, upstate New York, played at a couple different schools. He come here, he's, he's not like he's been here for, you know, like me, I feel like I've been here a while. <laughs> um, but he, he's been all in from the get-go um, and something super special. And he's, you know, me and him talking every single day. And so it's, it's just really special to have guys that, like, you know, want to be here and want to be all in. And I think that's where, you know, the magic kind of happens. You mentioned Ali and, you know, committing to, to Louisville. And obviously there are other guys that are in the portal. And they all have to take whatever they need to do to make their decision. They have to go through that for themselves. Mm -hmm. but, but as a teammate... How, how much do you want to be involved? Do you, do you bug them or do you just leave them alone and let them go through their process? Uh, for me, being like, I feel like I'm one of the leaders on the team. Uh, I am definitely somebody who is bugging. I'm talking to all these guys. I'm calling them almost every day. Yes, Trevin. Uh, yes. I'm taking Dallin to lunch today, so hopefully. Let's go. Hopefully Cougar Nation can rally behind that. But we're really excited, and I feel like a lot of these guys, we just have a really unique culture you know, at BYU, uh, unique locker room. And I feel like we haven't had that in you know, the past previous years, but this past year was something really, really special and something that I feel like everybody wants to be a part of. So I think that's kind of my little pitch to a lot of these guys. That, <laughs> you know, Coach Young has the connections. If you want to go to the NBA, he said it. You know, he said he, he wants to bring you know, young men to the NBA. So um, I don't think there's another coach or someone who has a pedigree like him to you know, make that happen. What was your first impression of, of Coach Young not so much in his introductory press conference when everybody got to see him in the public eye for the first time, but your first two minutes on that team Zoom call with him. <laughs> I was just like, okay, first he's got to shave his beard. <laughs> like, I, I, was, I, always, I just told my wife, I said, he kind of looks scarier without, his, like, without a beard. Like, he looks like more like a Navy SEAL. <laughs> um, but uh, he is somebody that's like, I feel like he has like a quiet confidence about him, and he's just really excited. The thing he said that I thought was really cool was, he didn't want to sell us on anything. He just said, I'm really, like, I genuinely want to be here and I want to win. Like, I want to take this team to the next level. Um, I thought that was something super cool. Like, it was really, like, almost like, you know, those quotes that are, like, a couple words long and it kind of hits you really hard. I was like, okay, let's go. Um, and so I think it's just, uh, you know, really, you know, a little, like, freshness in the locker room for that, so. What do you think this says about the state of the BYU basketball program that a guy that's interviewing <laughs> for NBA head coaching jobs chooses to come to BYU. What do you think that says? Yeah, I mean, BYU is a place to be. I feel like this, like, we're on the rise. We finished fifth in the Big 12 last year. Um, a lot of people might think, like, oh, this next year it's not going to be the same because our team's a little different or the coaching is a little different. But we love to live in that space of being the underdog, right? Um, we feel like we have a ton of unfinished business, um, at least for the guys that are coming back uh, in that tournament. Um, so we're really excited to kind of bring everything back. But... You know, BYU is, is something special. Everybody is, you know, every team here is ranked. You know, the girls' tennis team is <laughs> killing it. They're crushing the, it. Like, yeah. the softball team would just be the second-ranked team in the country with Oklahoma. Like, everything's been, like, BYU just has this renowned, you know, place of just being excellent in sports, excellent in academics. And so it's, it's a place to be. Have you had time to look back on last year? I know that it didn't end the way you wanted but when you look at the season as a whole, have you had time to, to reflect back and realize just what you guys were able to accomplish? Yeah, I mean, it, was, it took a while, right? Like that sting, that gut punch that having the tournament was super hard to get over um, for me and a lot of the guys. Uh, but when we think about like what we were able to really do, um, we were picked to finish 13th. Uh, we finished sixth in the you know, WCC the previous year or something like that. Um, so the, I feel like these past couple of weeks, like from when Coach Young got almost – and now so that's when we kind of be like, okay, look what we've done. Now let's go do something even better, right? And it's going to be that much harder, but I feel like everybody's kind of almost to that point where everybody's getting to, like, being all in. 
Again, you're close with everybody on the team. Certainly Jackson Robinson falls into that category. What's it like for you to watch him test the NBA waters and, and decide about his future? I'm pumped for Jax. Like, he, he's somebody that I feel like I got really close with last year, too. Um, and <laughs> me and him have a really funny relationship because anytime we get hit a three, it's like, all right, put another seven up. Like, let's go. <laughs> uh, but I'm really pumped for him. He's going to do something special. Uh, I think the NBA is the perfect route for him. Uh, he wants to, you know, feel, fulfill his dream. And so I'm pumped, and I feel like he's going to land on the spot, and I, I just can't wait for him to get some tickets. You know, like, <laughs> so Jax, you better hook me up, my guy. It's all about the hookups, it's right? It's all about the hookups. That's when you know friendship is real. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Trevin, great to have you in uh, Studio B and in the Cougar Council Room. Yeah. And, uh, we wish you the best of luck. We'll send you some BYU Sports Nation karma for your lunch yes, today. Yes, yes. Let's, Let's go, man. Let's go, guys. Karma hey, for the lunch. Appreciate uh, all you're doing and, and how you're up the Y, man. I appreciate you guys. Thanks, go Cougs, baby.